How's it going, lads? Marshall here. Welcome back to In The Wet Team, the season review on the channel. Tonight we got an SBC with the best dynamic image potentially we've ever seen on FIFA. He's got a hat on. He doesn't in game, but he's got a hat on his dynamic. That's got to mean something. That surely adds value to the SBC. But it doesn't because he doesn't have it in game. But anyways, we're going to review Anthony Modest today, who is of a card in this game. I believe it's 73. It was like the headline is like Silver Star kind of thing. But I don't believe they won any games. So he stayed like 73. Or unless he came out as a 72. He might have come out as a 72. But anyways, we're gonna review today. See how good he is on the game. You can see his price over there, 100 to 120 at this current moment in time. I'm doing the commentary just after the full-time whistle, the FA Cup final. Uh, full-time whistle, after the penalties. And uh, congrats, Liverpool. Commiseration, Chelsea. Uh, but, Mendest has a hat. And that's what we're going to talk about today. He's 6 or 2 high low work. It's four-star combo. You look to see it. And uh, his stats do look incredible. There's not... The thing is, you look at these stats and you think, dude, this guy could be a behemoth on this game and one of the best strikers we've ever seen since the dawn of time. Yes, that's, that's what I thought when I looked at it. Anyways, I don't know if you guys do, but in-game, it doesn't translate. And I'll get into that yet again. Uh, dribbling is 88, agility is 88. That looks absolutely sensational. Even his balance as well, and his reactions, and his ball control, and every single dribbling stat plus four-star skills. In-game, it turns at 90-degree angles unless you're walking. So, uh, I don't understand. Je ne comprends pas. And he is French, so I can say that. Uh, sometimes he just doesn't turn properly and seems very, very clunky, which you wouldn't think looking at his stats. But it's, it's just the way it is on this game, unfortunately. Like, you're not going to get a, a, a Modeste that plays, or Modeste, that plays the exact same as like a Kylian Mbappe. Plays the exact same as a Paolo Dybala. Plays the exact same. List another striker. But you know what I'm saying? Diogo Jota, someone like that. They're not going to play like those type of players. This guy will play similar to Erling Haaland, who we did review earlier on the channel. Will play very similar to uh, Harry Kane, less of the five-star weak thoughts. And he'll play like those strikers, but he's not... Like, those category of strikers, like Mbappe to a Haaland, it's almost incomparable because there will be massive difference regardless of stats. This guy starts with absolutely cracked off the list. 97 strength, 96 jump, and 99 head and accuracy. Plus, he's got the power headed trait, which you're about to see right on your screen right now. Pace wise, 91, 92. Fantastic. Shooting wise, 96. Finish, 95. Attack and position, shot power, 91 long shots, 93 volleys and penalties. Passing looks pretty standard for his. His card, and uh, yeah, like I said, I've been through the dribble and a power header is another trait, which uh, we just mentioned. But lads, let's go into the hatless gameplay. I'm quite sad he doesn't have a hat in game, but I think it goes against regulations. Yeah, Yashin can wear a cap, nobody else. That's just the way it goes. But guys, we're going to get in the gameplay and see how good Modeste is in there. So here we go, lads, in at two, the gameplay. Now, seeing his stats, I was very intrigued into how he would play in game, how he would move, how he would finish. And how you would feel on the ball, most importantly. And um, I got many of those questions answered in the second game. This was the first game. We actually got a very early race. Just after like 17 minutes, I think this guy goes. Straight after that goal as well. Lovely finish by Anthony Modest. Uh, good run from him. Great through ball by the cam, which I believe was Foden at the time. And a good chip by Modest over the top to keep it into the back of the net. If you're thinking if he's going to be static... As a striker, the answer to that's no. He's got high-low work rate, so he does look for positions to get in behind the defences. Hence, how he got that assist. He ran the line, made himself available for the pass, got the pass, and assisted Phil Ford in, who scored an absolute worldie. Um, he hits the post here as well. Very unlucky with that. Probably should have went for a finesse. I mean, he's got good curve as well, so a finesse shots will work. It's just dribbling-wise, he, he... Well, that doesn't even like come into conversation with his shots. Uh, his shots have, like, let's speak about his shots first. Very powerful, very powerful, very accurate. And uh, normally they will test the keeper. If they don't, he'll either hit the post like you've seen before or nestle into the back of the net. There's very rare times where it does go wide. Now, it, it did happen to me. Obviously, it does. But sometimes you can even pass the ball like there. I, I barely touched the shoot button there and it literally just passed it straight forwards into the back of the net. That's his default celebration as well. The John Joe Shelby, or it's actually his celebration. But, yeah, I mean, 
Celebration, celebration, a celebration, a celebration. You can set it to what you want. Again, great movement there. Hits it on the left foot volley. Good save. And we tap in the rebound with Bernardo Silva. But you can see the pros and cons on the left-hand side. And I do want to talk a bit more about his clunkiness towards the end of the, the gameplay. So, strength. He's got that in abundance, very strong, and you can use him, similar to Holland, as a target man, as someone that will lead the line, and someone that will also get him behind. The high-low work rates do allow him play, to play on the last man. Uh, attack and positioning, at times, it's utterly unreal, utterly unreal. And of course, he's got the heading, 6 foot 2 power header, and 96 jumping is a joy to see. We actually chip the keeper here again, he's very accurate with those. His first touch is immaculate. Dribbling not so much, man. Uh, I've got pace under that as well. Now, his pace is fantastic. He's very quick. Off the ball. Now, the thing is, like, you're going to look at these stats and think, you're just, you're just talking, uh, well, the, the Scottish say pesh. You're just talking pesh. But, I, I, but, honestly, this is my experience with the card. He turns slowly. Slower than his stats do suggest. And he slows down... When you're trying to do his four-star skills, when you're trying to dribble, it just becomes lethargic. Whereas Pace is definitely a pro, because off the ball, when he makes a run, he's very quick. It's hard to stop and hard to catch. But um, when you do get him on the ball, try a bit of footwork every now and then, it just doesn't go to plan. Gorgeous scorpion kick there to round things off as well for Anthony Modest. And uh, that's my favorite celebration right now. It's called Dance Free, if you're wondering. But lads, we're going to jump into the summary. Let's talk about some more. So there we have it, lads. That was Anthony Modesti. Or Modest. I'm, I'm pretty like certain not how to say it. No, I'm pretty uncertain how to say it. Or not certain how... Lads, I don't know. Is it Modest or is it Modesti? I don't think it's Modesti because it doesn't have the accent over the E. I'm fluent in French, as you guys know this. Je ne pas de parler de français. Je ne, no. Je ne comprends pas. Je ne pas de parler de français. Parler longly. Because I'm English. But anyways, he's got high-low work rates. And he is very good with that movement. And I will say, if you do have him in your, your team, there's going to be... There's going to be goals scored. I don't think there's going to be an issue with that. Four games, 96 goals, one assist. Thank you very much. There's not going to be an issue with him scoring goals. He will score goals no matter... What team you put him in? You could put him in a French team. He's going to score goals. A Bundesliga team. He's going to score goals. A team of the season team. He's going to score goals. That's what I'm trying to say. As a striker, first and foremost, you want him to score. He's going to do that. He's going to do uh, similar Harlan levels. He's going to put the ball in the back of the net. And he's going to be dependable, basically, when it does come down to that. It's just if you want more out of a striker, he's not going to give you that extra bit more. Um... Similar to Horse, right? Horse is like, I know he's like 6'6 six six or 6'7, six 6'5. Six I don't know, the guy's a giant. It's pretty incomparable. But I do want to compare it. Because with Weghorst, he does the heading, the movements, the finishing to extremely good levels. And his technique is very good. It's just he still feels quite clunky on the dribble. And that's similar to Modest. Um, yes, you can speed it up when you use the left stick and you, you slow the dribble down to a walking pace. That is easy. That is simple. Where the top dribblers come into this game is where you're at a quick pace and you try to mix it up and go quicker and quicker and quicker in and out of plays. He can't do that. If you do do that with this guy, he turns into a battering ram and he normally does get dispossessed after going through a couple of plays here and there. Um, overall, I don't think I was let down by this card. It was more like I expected this. But you guys know I go into reviews with an open mind. But look at someone's stats and think, oh, you know what, this is going to be bad. I'm, I'm going to purposely put that in my head. Well, not purposely, but unconsciously put it in my head. Whatever the word is, I don't care. I'm going to put that thought in my head where I'm going to have a negative experience on the game because I'm expecting it. It's the way it goes. That is pretty much human nature. So I, I did look at the stats and think, it's not going to be that good. And then I wiped it out my brain. Because I'm good like that. I've got a, a like an eraser where I can just like press a button. It's just under my ear as well. You press it, erases your memory. So I did that, went into the gameplay, and then fought back. And it was like, dude, I expected exactly this. A striker that can finish, makes good runs, but ultimately can't dribble. Despite, with an ancient cam style, going into the 90s for agility to 93, balance going to 99, and dribbling going to 98. Where is the logic here? That's all I'm looking for. I'm looking for the logic, and I'm not talking about the rapper. Overall rating for myself, 9.0 for Anthony Modesti. Um, Modest. Stop saying Modesti. 9.0 for myself. 
he's a good striker. He will get you goals. If you're expecting more, don't expect more. I think that covers it. Enjoyment. I'm going to bring it down a little bit from a 9. It's an 8.6. He can be very good when he smashes the ball. Uh, Positioning-wise in the box, very good as well. And he does make some great runs. He's very strong. He's very good in the air. He's got great stamina. And uh, he's very quick off the ball as well, making runs in behind defences. And I think that is good. You can use him as a target man. I mean, if you had like... Literally, the target man setting on stay forwards, he will play with his back to goal, and then sometimes turn around and get him behind defences, which I probably recommend that on him, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm still looking at those dribbling stats and thinking, how? How does that translate over in the game? So, price! Now, it is 100 to 120 on the SBC market right now with all the fodder that's on the game. That's quite high for all the fodder that's on the game. My value for going to the 7.5. And you might be thinking, why is it 7.5? That's not exactly high, like an amazing price for someone to 100k. It's not exactly low either. The thing is, if you do this SBC, you'll you'll get some use out of him. I'm talking like, uh, I think there's a Bundesliga Tots Cup out right now. You'll get use in that. And you'll get use and you will get goals. But the thing is, if he was on the transfer market, mate, he'd be 40,000 coins, 50,000 coins. Probably less. Honestly, the way this team of the season's going budget-wise... Probably less. So to have him at like 100k to 120, I think they're taking advantage of the, the dynamic image. The cap. The cap adds value. And that's cap in itself. Dude, you see, you know what I did there. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. Leave your thoughts, please, in the comment section below on Anthony Modest. If you guys have enjoyed this review, leave a like as well. Subscribe for more content from myself. And uh, hope you have a great night. Unless you're a Chelsea fan. I'm not saying, like, have a bad night if you're a Chelsea fan. But it's going to be a bit weird, isn't it, after losing the final. I don't know what that's like. Newcastle's never been to a final since, like, 2001. We had back-to-back -back FA Cup finals. No, I think it was year 2000. Yeah, and we lost against Arsenal, Manchester United. But, hey, 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 hey